Hey, down in front. <laughs> yes, that's quite an introduction, isn't it? And this is quite a warning. All the characters and events in the game are fictitious, even if they're not. There may be strong language and scenes of violence in the game, or at least, we hope so. Hello everyone, welcome to Breath Edge. Breathe Edge? Breath Edge. Welcome to Breath Edge. This is a lovely little survival game in the same vein as Subnautica, as in, well, you, you'll see. And it has a sort of specific mood to it. I played a little bit of it, and I decided that this just needed some documentation. So, without further ado, if it'll let me name the game. Eh, oh well. Red Ruin Software. Softworks presents. Hmm. Fancy opening credits at the beginning of the game. From the creators of The Matrix, there's been no news lately. Eh, if only that were true. 22 awards some other games received. Searching for this font took up half the development time. Director isn't needed here at all. The Red Ruin Softworks team is categorically against smoking, which causes loud headlines in newspapers and other diseases, and therefore we suggest that you replace this dangerous cigarette in the robot's claw for something more useful. Now, personally, I'm morally against any act of censorship, but, well, let's just see what they go with, I suppose. A carrot. Which he is still smoking. Here you are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him, R2-D3. You presume I th I'm capable of thinking at all. That's a hell of an assumption. You tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm? Well, there's only one thing to say to that. Put on a defiant expression and spit in the face of this piece of iron. Wow, you saw that specifically for that. How? Where did that even come from? You tell from? us all from the beginning or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? I don't think he quite understands English. But I'm sure he'll understand this. Yeah, I, I didn't see any mechanism that this thing is hooked onto. No, it just came out of nowhere. Interesting. You tell us all from the beginning or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? I think it needs just one more time just to sink in. Yep. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explodes yes. of green universe. Confirm? All right, all right, we'll tell him. After all, we've we've managed to join the fan club. Year 2073. Somewhere on the outskirts of the universe. The whole damn universe. That's impressive. Ooh. Pointy. Interstellar liner unnamed. Your yogurt or some other garbage ads could be here. It's good to know that they go with my same naming scheme as I use in Kerbal Space Program. A lot of unnamed ships out there. Eh. Yes, bit of a grim business, but at least we're putting him away correctly. And we have the chicken for company. Hmm. Huh. Probably just some turbulence. Space turbulence. Well, 
we're going to have to get Grandpa back. Can't have Colonel Sanders floating out in the depths of space. Chapter 1, Lost in Space. You lied to me. Logo was impossible. Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth. No lie. Confirm. <laughs> okay. Uh, they don't appreciate artistic integrity, you know? But I, I guess that we have no choice here. Literally. Continue your definitely unembellished story. Yeah, I, I guess that we didn't quite manage to retain consciousness. At least not until later. Wonder who that belonged to. <sighs> Greetings, I'm your funerary spacesuit's built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. Ah, okay. I guess I just need to click. Splendid. Yes. You've gotten into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. Therefore, we suggest that you stop the gas leak and survive. You know, that, that's a pretty splendid suggestion. Let's go with that. So, gas leak. That shouldn't be any problem. We can just plug that right up. We, we, we don't even need any equipment for it. We just have the option. We got all the equipment we need right here. To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. Yeah, that that would probably be helpful. So yes, it's going to be that kind of experience. Items, you can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. Take out the chewing gum from your pocket. Try not to stick it somewhere except for your face. I mean, to be fair, this is probably about the level of maintenance that a lot of real life fixes get done with. We just kind of you use what we have. That's impressive. You've almost won. Oh wow, almost Remember, done already. The funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. I think I'll go with option three. Yes, it's interesting that this little bit of chewing gum has more resistance than the entire digestive tract of a rather sturdy chicken. But uh, I guess that's that's just facts of science that we're learning here. So the interphone, yes, yes. This looks this looks relatively simple. It has good old fashioned sea moss in it, so uh, I I know how to use this. Yes, just press. Just that looks antenna. like T A space. space. Well, it didn't appreciate my maintenance procedure. Space toilet. It didn't appreciate my maintenance procedures, so is detected. Probably we'll just have to. Core of the liner. Be careful, the radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. Lovely. We'll just stay away from that area. Well, that we'll be able to call, call for help, I'm sure. Carefully. Yes, yes, yes. Very delicate operation here. We'll just uh, give it just a little bit of a careful adjustment. You've got great engineering skills. You've broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel, if it's still intact. Yes. Uh, yes, uh, well, the situation's not out of control yet. We like just need... Wheel. You need to try to connect to it. Mm -hmm. Great news! Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. You know, that sounds about right. Uh, considering what we saw when we tried to adjust the antenna there. Yes, oxygen is not unlimited. We need to be a little bit careful here. Remember that you are still able to become depressed. Thank you, that's very helpful. So, so, we, we need to build some fancy equipment in order to get communications back, I suppose. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, equipment. Can't do that. Ah, there it is, the cryptographic debugging station. So, it's just a couple of pieces of metal and some wire. That should be easy enough. The most sophisticated professional equipment for distributing streaming information with cryptographic encryption over internal software networks. 
Hmm. That's a hell of a thing we're building right there. Examine a drill blueprint, huh? Grandpa's garage was full of such blueprints. With them, even a hamster could assemble a tiny helicopter for itself, if it had the will and a Phillips head screwdriver. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there, there's little text on it. This main motor that... Oh, it's so compressed I don't think I can read it. Well, let's just leave that there, but we get a new blueprint for it anyway. Nice. Now, can I examine that again? Yes, I can. Alright, so as long as I don't pick stuff up and move it around, then I guess I can just examine whatever I like. Oh, let's see. Wow, we never did finish reading that newspaper, did we? Mm. Let's see what the old rag has to say. Thursday, August 15th, 2073. Green Universe. Broccoli attack. Green Universe. Always in the quotes. Interesting. Green Universe activists promise new terrorist attacks if burying any kind of meat in space is not prohibited. So, they'd even protest burying a hamster. I see. Hmm. Our independent publication continues to cover the activities of the Green Universe Radical Group. This formidable terrorist organization appeared recently and has already managed to inflict irreparable damage to several lawns. Splash three people with brilliant green and leave digested broccoli on the doorstep of the White House. <laughs> Residents of all the planets, all the planets, are in panic. When will these elusive funeral fighters strike again? And can anyone to stop them? Uh, okay. Maybe English has changed a little bit in the 20-odd years it's going to take us to reach the edge of the universe. Or 50-odd years, rather. Yes. On Wednesday, the leader of the Green Universe, a businessman and the co-owner of a tiny crematoria network, what could his motives be, announced about the complete blocking of the security guard booth on the territory of the Space Coffins plant. What makes this man tick, being almost bankrupt because of the rapidly gaining popularity of cosmic funerals? We do not know this, but we are sure of one thing. They will not stop at anything. Yes, what could possibly stop the nearly broke man with all the reason in the world to take out the competition? Well, I, I think I'll read that piecemeal. There was other articles on there, but we'll get to them when we get to them. Ah, family photo. Hey there, Grandpa. A good photo. It was taken two years before Grandpa's death. This jacket has outlived him and will probably outlive me as well. Hmm. And that chicken will outlive all of us. Hello. 2064. B? P? Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I I don't think I found this one when I tried the game out. It wasn't worth blowing bubbles into the face of this immortal bird. Oh the eyes. Look at the eyes. The school wanted me to sign on as a as a sprinter but after that race, that day I flew. Yes. <laughs> the chicken's portrait. All photo albums at home are filled with pictures of the chicken. A portrait with a dark background, a portrait with a light background, a master shot in the rain, a photo of it sitting heroically on a chair. This family heirloom now belongs to me, and I can't even get rid of it by giving it to anybody. Hmm. But why would you want to? Ah, oh, yes, I forgot to check the, the back of Running Man here. <laughs> Hmm. So what what does this mean? I have to remember that. 2064. Hmm. 
All right, let's go out and find us some griblies with which to assemble a highly advanced hacking device. So we need a couple of pieces of metal. Well, all, all this stuff floating around looks kind of metallic. That's yes. Break it? No, need a handy scrapper. Okay. Ah, but they're smaller little the meatballs. Of the destruction, most of the passengers of the liner died. This might be the biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics, the reasons for which are yet to be clarified. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's just a terrible accident. I'll, I'll read those descriptions once I get back inside. Yes, the controls aren't bad. If you've been playing Space Engineers, the uh, the controls feel a lot like that. It's control to go down, you have w -A space to go up, W-A-S-D, strafe you, and alt to break. Very, very familiar feeling. And uh, if I'll just refill my air real quick. Space seems to have quite a lot of friction in it, too. You see that my speed limit seems to be about five, six meters per second. And if I take my hand off the key to... Yeah, I decelerate it a little bit more than one meter per second squared. So space friction is very firmly in place here. So now I need to find myself another piece of metal. The sensors report the presence of some nearby cooling gel. Its microscopic particles can settle in the glass of a spacesuit, forming some beautiful frostwork, which can lead to visibility deterioration. I understand that such an image can horrify you, but put your mind at ease. You will need to pay only half the cost of a damaged spacesuit in such a situation. The Breath Edge Agency oh, wow. is proud of its loyal attitude towards clients. It's interesting that all the liquid immediately freezes everywhere. Just all the water, all the coolant. It should be boiling away, but instead we've got this... Now what's it? Blood clot. Hmm. Extremely useless, but it froze so beautifully that it's impossible to resist adding it to your trash collection. Well, I'll there take your word for it. Vampires, but it is hardly useful here. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, at least this guy went quickly. Oh, oh, dear. This could be problematic. Really need to get myself a more chefty air tank. That should be a priority order, I think. Is there anything that I can craft that would do that? Enhanced spacesuit, maybe. No, that's radiation protection. The enhanced spacesuit is the same as the regular spacesuit, except painted with lead paint for greater moral support against radiation. Don't use it while pregnant. I don't think that'll be an issue for me, at least. Helmet. If you don't learn physics at school and screw special lead antennas to the helmet, they can help in protecting you from radiation. Although thicker glass would be even more effective. And these are these are two things that I'm nowhere even near getting right now. I've got some food and water. Bottle of water. Distilled, tasty, soft, odorless water remained on Earth. Here, you have to drink everything that looks like, at least like water. And it's better not to think about where it came from. Now, this is something that's a little bit uh, unusual to my taste. It's saying thirst plus 30. But that would, in fact, we, we our drink bar, it, it's saying it would add 30 to our drink bar. It's not adding 30 to our thirst. And let's craft one of those just to have it handy. But yes, let's read some of the other things we've run across. Ice. Frozen water, which could have poured out from anywhere. If it tastes unusual, it smells, has also caused painful burning in the mouth, it's recommend just swallow it immediately. Metal. A piece of metal too small and thin to do anything with, other than throw it away. Well, no. I mean, we can make a cryptographic debugging station out of it, and and and, and I'm, I'm sure it'll be exactly what we need. Yes, yes. So if we have four of them, we can make refined metal. And that seems to be it on the old crafting menu for right now. We don't really have much in the way of recipes just yet. Goodness, this place is... I suppose it's a question of, was it just this messy from us living here, or is this a side effect of the crash? Because most everything looks like it's still in place relatively well. Like, you think this houseplant would be displaced? 
At least we keep, we keep good care of our houseplants. Either that or they're artificial. My friends. A picture with the autographs of Grandpa's best friends. It's from the times when their crazy gang went on, as they called it, a space odyssey. Which lasted almost a year and put them on the blacklist of most bars on inhabited planets. They were really cool guys, all already gone. Are any of these famous autographs? I'm not really. 2012, A Space Odyssey. Hmm. Humanity got to space a lot earlier in this universe, I suppose. Hmm. No, oh, we can't have that on the ground. At least this we knew got thrown out by the uh, explosive decompression. One of the last photos of Grandpa, who didn't part with the chicken until his death. He really liked himself here, and I couldn't help but putting this photo in a frame. Yeah, let's let's put that somewhere a bit more respectable. Let's see if I can get that up on the... Well, good enough. Good enough. Examine a survival guide. Hmm. Oh, okay. 20242. Hmm. A humorous survival guide recorded by one of Grandpa's friends. They even cut some shots out from some movie and put it in there. I, I don't think that such advice can be useful, but to be honest, this situation is somehow strangely similar to mine. There's even the chicken in there. Hmm. So, a space odyssey that went careening around planets happened in 2012. It's 2073 right now. And this is one of Grandpa's VHS tapes. So, we were going into space with VHS tapes. Or at least, it kind of looks like a VHS tape. Yeah, it has the two spools. Hm. Well, let's see. Insert videotape. Oh, it needs to be held. I see. <laughs> wow. To pee or not to pee? Hmm. Space is dangerous. It's so unpredictable. Just like your bladder. Uh, okay. In space, you can find yourself left without the most valuable equipment at the most inopportune moment. Good grief. Try to keep it all in. A thoughtless waste of resources will lead you to death. Okay. <laughs> Explode the environment in search of AIDS or an analog of your most valuable equipment. Oh, explore, I guess it said. <laughs> Collect any valuable items in space, but be extremely cautious. Use chicken? Oh, good grief. <laughs> I see. Oh, I even got an achievement for it. With due luck and diligence, you can repair the most valuable equipment or kill yourself in... I'm, I'm gonna guess that was... Uh, yes. I see. So there's a button to go pee. That, that probably fits... Just about everything else we know about this game. I mean, that's obviously one of the most important actions you want to program into any any realistic simulation, obviously. Yes, yeah, so let's just let's just keep that in a safe space along with uh, the rest of our trash collection that we'll inevitably be building. So, what is this P button? Is it? Is it? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh. Uh, hello. Oh, jeez. Wow. So yes, you hold down F to P. Other than that, is there any? The waste disposal point? system is damaged and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck oh. objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full. I see. The toilet operating in reverse mode is probably disastrous, but let's let's go for it. Uh, do I? Ah, okay. You need to kind of aim. There we go. Get it right on there. Oh, and I, I see my thirst is going down considerably. 
Oh, we get a rather nasty piece of plastic for our woes. Mm. D do we always get plastic? Is this a random resource generator? Let's see here. Well, that, that doesn't necessarily mean we always get plastic. But that's good to know a source of plastic, I suppose. Let's, uh, yes. So, now I need to find some wire. Where can I find some wire? I bet that, like, in some of these broken sections of ship there might be wires hanging off, like electric systems that are damaged. Yeah. Oh. He died doing a pose. Neat. Alcohol. Valuable equipment right there. Always want to stock up on the booze. Hello. That did indeed look like what I am looking for. All right. Another piece of metal just for luck. And a couple of pieces of these just kind of... Oh, hello. That looked like something new. Mm. Nutritious goo, it say? Okay. Let's see what we've got to play around with here. Yes, alcohol. Burns well, kills bacteria, warms the body, or... or warms bacteria and kills the body, I don't remember exactly. So, that would... Again, losing thirst is a bad thing. That would... That would dehydrate us. Temperature plus 25 and alcoholic intoxication plus 20. Hmm. Alright. Wire. Ordinary wire. You can find it anywhere where there's some wire. That makes sense. Nutritious goo. It's green, thick, and it flows from the nose. Guess what it is? Nutritional liquid that someone choked on. What is this music? This is the theme song of the nutritious goo. Yes, it is. I see. Yes. <laughs> Uh, nutritious goo that someone choked on. This product is produced specifically for cheap space lunches. It tastes like strawberries stuffed with fish oil. It can be defrosted. Well. So we just need a nutritious goo and a piece of ice, and we get a nutrition package. This music is incredible. A packet of defrosted nutritious goo. It's easy to hold the cap in your hand. The soft packet makes it easy to squeeze everything out of the very last bit. And its terribly, its terrible design emphasizes its awful taste. Well, I mean, c considering we literally made this out of a, a bundle of goo and a hunk of ice, it's impressive that we have a package at all. Y y you need to consider that. All right, items. Alcohol. We can make our own alcohol. We just need to find some alkali. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, I need to make the cryptographic debugging station. Alright. Very sophisticated equipment. Ah, I'm proud of myself. If you're sure that this is exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an yeah. electric shock, and then your spacesuit will automatically take your body measurements to order a coffin from our company. Thank you for choosing the Global Funeral Agency. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that this is exactly what you asked me for. The, the bent nails are, are just for better <laughs> hacking. Yes. Well, uh, debug process uh, shouldn't be. The, the device will practically handle it all itself, I'm sure. Yeah, just debug, debug, debug. Yes. Good. It, it worked. It actually worked. Okay. Yeah. Did he just hit semicolon? It worked, your regardless. Your arrival time exceeds your estimated lifespan by 4,369 years. You need to get to the extraction point yourself, getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some crap imposed by the developers. <laughs> yes. Attention to all survivors. A rescue shuttle, HOPE, has been sent for you from the nearest evacuation point. 
Due to the slight malfunction of the engines, the estimated arrival time of the rescue team is 4,369 years. Hmm. Hello, home phone number? 2U313BACO. GF frowny face home. Our home number. I can't reach it, of course. Well, there's no one to call. Unless I say hello to the cockroaches. Maybe they would appreciate it. You know? You gotta think about their feelings. Summer 2008. Looks like India. Somehow I've never asked where this photo is from. Hmm. Don't forget to feed the chicken. I completely forgot. And now we've got interesting Russo music. Yes, yes. Chick you belch. Expensive, unfiltered, dark, tasteless, and non-alcoholic. Something chosen by Grandpa solely because of its label. Although, he always denied it, wrinkled his face while he was choking on this crap. Drink a dream. Chick you belch. Dark. Oh. Hello? Warning. One. A real lady should not booze, especially if she's pregnant, because there's a risk of giving birth to a lowlife. If, if you are drunk, do not drive a car, and do not try to operate complex machinery if you are not an idiot. <laughs> it's perfectly acceptable for idiots. You're just helping out the gene pool. Three, excessive drinking is bad for your health. Hmm. Chick you belch. Traditional, unpasteurized beer originating in some German village in 1516. This beer is kinda made from something used for making beer. Probably. Alcohol 0%. Produced and released by Beer Co. Charming. Yes, yes, I, th I think that we can... We can just uh, pour out a good old 40 for Grandpa right here. Just see if it's... Uh, nope. Babe. Incredible. Survived one. I see your avatar online. Oh, okay. I can just place this right here. Could I do that for Grandpa? It wasn't possible to determine the coordinates of the survivor. Communication only works on reception, which gives a good reason not to respond and not to be distracted, despite the objections of the hormonal system. I'm not sure if he was saying anything else. I kind of got distracted by... No, it looks like all I can do is... is uh, drop Grandpa's photo. And where it lands, it lands. Ah, but it got it face up this time. Upside down, but still. That, that's closer to being respectful. Yes, yeah, yeah, Closer. Back scratcher? Me. My beloved grandpa's back scratcher with a nipple gripper. <laughs> Extremely popular among astronauts. Starting with this, you can create an excellent tool for grabbing something else. Oh my. Well. <clears throat> we'll just keep that in a safe and special place. Why do we have a piece of rubber on our... Why do we have a stain? Oh dear. There, there's so many questions. So many questions that I'm not even sure if I want the answers. Burdock? Is that a type of plant or is that just the name of this thing? I need a scanner. Babe says, my name is Babe. I am very beautiful. You save me, I beg. I am completely alone. Take off your helmet. You may hear me cry. Hurry. Your has a very sweet accent, causing fatal errors in my grammatical functions. Yes, I, I see. Well, create the crap imposed by the developers and put it in my hands. Mm, that couldn't be too hard. Well, we can now make handy scrappers. That was something that uh, said we needed. Grabber. Okay. Well, I haven't read the descriptions on these yet. Drill. Same as Grandpa had. It works on one battery, although it would still work without a battery. Able to make holes in things that shouldn't have holes. Hmm. Handy Scrapper. It was meant to be the most sophisticated professional equipment for distributing streaming information with cryptographic encryption over internal software networks. But it's 
more useful now, I'm sure. Our engineering genius has solved problems we didn't even know we had. Grabber, a modification of Grandpa's back scratcher. It's great for pulling objects out of narrow holes and picking up things that you don't want to touch. All right. So the crap imposed by the by the developers literally calls that actually some crap imposed by the developers. You're gonna need two pieces of refined metal, so I think that's gonna be eight pieces of metal in total. Some wire and some thick electrical tape. I saw thick electrical tape on here. That's two pieces of rubber, so I've already got one. Yeah, so I'm going to need quite a lot of metal. So I think that first I should go for this handy scrapper, which no longer costs wire now. Well, I guess it's because we're not using it as a hacking tool anymore. So I just need to get myself one more piece of metal, and my life should become a little bit better. <clears throat> Babe. I see dangerous place on the radar. There's many life-giving oxygen. You cannot fly there. If you suddenly smoke there, it, you, can, you can explode. It is better to suffocate than to burn. She really cares for us. You know, it's good to have someone looking out for us. You could learn a lot from her spacesuit. Yeah, I'm calling you out. All right, let's find ourselves just a little meatball of metal. That's looking like right there. Zoop. All right, and now we can go and break up some the of these big old meatballs. Larger debris. Lucky, lucky indeed, I suppose. All right, nice handy scrapper. And that should make life significantly improved for us. Yes, now I've got a good old-fashioned beaten stick. Mmm, feels good. Hello, what's this? Grandpa's mug? Grandpa loved to give young girls a ride on his rocket. Oh my. So this is why his colleagues gave him this mug and the title of Chief Womanizer. Unfairly, because Grandpa really did only give them rides and only on his rocket, but he still kept the mug and always laughed at it. The handle is there! By God, she's right. What other mysteries does she know? We can't leave that in space. That's just, that's just too amazing. Alright, so... Do I click and hold? No, I have to just whack the hell out of it. Ah, nice. And we've already repaid the investment on the handy scrapper. That looks like a... I'm not going to break that up. I wonder what's in this. Asteroid. Ooh, it's a tough son of a gun. Hello? Some ice and some aluminum. Interesting, interesting. Refill our air. <clears throat> yes, this is uh, this is a little bit new for me. I I didn't play much farther than this. Basically, as soon as I saw the intro, I knew that this had to be shared. Hello. Wire, metal, ooh, my, battery, plastic, goodness gracious, we need to find more of those things. Babe, are you still alive? I cannot name my coordinates, but there is debris here, and there's debris on the left, and you have to help, I beg you, quick fly to me, through the radiation. Well, I, I can't blame her for panicking, you, you know? That, that's just human nature. Scissors? Hmm. Alright, let's examine our hole here. I'm already about halfway through the handy scrapper, so I think I'm going to build another one just to have it in backup. Okay, so. Uh, plastic. You can make some interior decor from this plastic, or some toy soldiers, or some toy soldiers for adults. 
So, would they have, like, boobs? Aluminum. Soft, pliable, and useful metal with impurities of some rubbish. This one will do anyway. Battery. Alkaline battery. Massively used in all electrical appliances of the world. It is not recommended to dissemble it or to apply it to the tongue of a sleeping friend. No, we don't recommend that at all. Never ever do that. Never. Don't even dream about it. Don't think about it. Why would you ever? Rubber. A universal material which is used everywhere. It serves as excellent insulation and is easily melted into a useless puddle. That's... Well, can I put Grandpa's mug on the desk? Yeah, it says bind to a slot. Okay. There we go. Put it right on next to the cheeky belch. We're getting a, a nice, a good little shrine to Grandpa together. This is carrot top. Oh, right. Cigarettes are, are uh, carrots now. It's covered in saliva, but it still looks appetizing. If you insist. Honestly, I'm kind of, uh, those, those leaves hanging off of it look kind of suspicious to me. I think I'm just going to leave that right there. <clears throat> Hello. Dog beer? The cheapest swill, drunk by all space dogs. Nobody knows from what waste this stuff is brewed. Nevertheless, this beer is distinguished by a pleasant, mild taste of tar and the fragrance of fresh porcupine dung. It's interesting that you know the exact species. Are you a connoisseur? Dog beer. You, if beer we brewed at this, I, I can't read very much of this. There's clearly words here, but the compression of the texture just kind of, let's see here. This not so subtle beer we Duh, buh, 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 buh. A slightly sweaty malt. It's fairly. It's full. It's far. Buh, buh, buh. Seat belts. We'd tell them to buckle up. If your taste buds had seat belts, we'd tell them to buckle up. That's the last sentence there. The rest of it, you're kind of on your own. Oh, let's not leave that on the ground. Grandpa preferred his cheeky belts. We'll just keep that in a safe place for ourselves. Book? Yes, exactly. You got it right. It's a book! It has pages inside. Letters and numbers on those pages. It also has crumpled corners and traces of greasy fingers. It... Mm, it smells like a book, it looks like a book, and tastes no different from a book. Well, that's useful. We've got to take that with us. Physics in 50 volumes. A rare edition of physics in several volumes. Several? 50 is several? Okay. They say the one who reads all 50 books will become the person who read all these books. Life goal achieved. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's just uh, put those in a nice safe place. Where is books? What's all this up here? Achievements? Ah, the... Oh, babe, forgive my accent. Humanity fly all over the galaxy but never make a good translator. Are you saving me? Uh, we'll, we'll get around to it, I'm sure. It, it's on the list. It, yeah, someone says, uh, achievements. The Revenant. Every survivor deserves an Oscar. So it goes. You finally got an Oscar. Why would you need anything else? BDSM fan club. Yes, yes, I want more. Use me as a chair. Oh, yeah. You get 25% more pleasure from pain in the game. I, uh, uh, Okay. Special achievements? Uh, can easily let in even a fat astronaut. Huh. Okay, these are interesting. What's all this? Ah, this is just a kind of... This is just kind of a uh, resource list. Yes. 
interesting. Okay, and this is our message. Ah, okay. So if I miss a message from Babe, I can just uh, find it on here. That's good. And it looks like I didn't miss anything she said on that one time I thought I did. The music's getting very dramatic. Ah, hello. We can now make batteries from metal and alkali. Okay. Ah, and there's a note of all the things we've examined. Ah, okay. Okay, cool. So all the all the stuff that we've examined, I don't need to be terribly careful about like preserving every item of it. I can always come back here and review all the things I've found. That's good. That's good. All right, so crap imposed by the developers. I think I should be able to create the tape. And now all I need is two pieces of refined metal. So, resources. I just need a butt ton of metal. Did I create a backup handy scrapper? Yes, I did. And this drink and eat and be merry and go and find some metal. Babe, on my monitor the signals of the rescue shuttles appeared right at this point, but no one answered. Probably there is danger there, so it's worth to fly. Yeah, th they, there could be more people in danger there. It's, it's our moral obligation, I'm sure. Yeah, that's, she is not suspicious at all, you know? She is just obviously and completely our friend, and not at all some horrible space monster with a picture of boobs. Or not at all the lady responsible for, for crashing the spaceship into her boobs. I'm sure. This music continues to be amazing. Ah, let's just track down the big metal meatballs. Give them a good swat around. Just, just batter the balls lightly, joyfully. Let them enjoy the freedom of space and the wonder of a good beating. Yes, I definitely think that I'm always going to try and have two handy scrappers on me at all times, because they're cheap, and it seems that they don't last very long. But at the same time, if I had no handy scrappers, then I'd be down to hunting down already existing little nuggets of metal instead of being able to uh, partake of these more chuffy fellows. Oof. Oh dear. Let me in. Yes, thank you, music. That you, you're, you're regaling me with the exact mood that I needed after that harrowing trip. <laughs> All right. Now, okay, this just uses metal wire and scissors. Yes, I didn't look at these scissors. The most ordinary scissors that can cut even wire when your mom is not looking. Mm. Shears. Handmade shears from old scissors with a powerful hydraulic spring hidden in the handle. An extremely pointless tool designed by developers to avoid making complex animation of fingers with normal scissors. At least they're honest. The rest of these things look like they're going to use refined metal, so we'll hold off on them. But uh, I guess I'll put these on here. Cool.
cool. All right. Having only four slots is going to be a little bit limiting, I think. I can clearly tell that there's more than four tools in the game. Wire. I need to find more wire. Wait, did I make another handy scrapper? Yes, I did. All right. Let's just clean up the area. Oh, babe, I have big bust and slender legs. I wanted you to know and motivate you to save me. Uh, you know, I can't even say it's a trap because that has a very different meaning these days. And still might be true. Okay. Ah, radio. I remember that being very good. Aw. Only plastic and a battery? What's up with that radio? Hello. Be careful with the vacuum breakdowns. An electric shock of such power can lead to the failure of my systems, and I can't guarantee the safety of your corpse before the arrival of the funeral team. Hmm. Neutralize the electricity, huh? Okay. But that was different than what the video showed. It's still amazing. I guess it's good that we have a second handy scrapper that we can mysteriously attach the chicken to. Well, did I find a piece of wire? I don't think I found a piece of wire. Let's just, uh, l let's just keep going. Cardboard box, huh? Let's just, uh, very carefully make sure that this area is safe for chicken dielectric. Yes, yes. Very professional. Obviously the way that every mechanical issue is intended to be fixed. Yes. Nice. Was that a piece of just straight up refined metal? <laughs> so I'm, I'm getting the feeling that breaking down the raw resources is... A condom? Okay. Oxygen balloon? Huh. I'm getting the feeling that breaking down the raw materials or hunting little nuggets is is the chump's way of doing things. I'm getting the feeling that scrapping more advanced materials is what a, uh, what a discerning gentleman would be out for in space. Speaking of being a discerning gentleman, this strangely shaped balloon, for what purpose we don't know, has extra strength and, el and elasticity. You can pump it up with oxygen. There won't be much of it, but it would be enough for one breath if it doesn't pop. Well. So, oxygen balloon. We need... We need... I need to find a source of wire. Hmm. Fabric? A cool composite space rag. A unique combination of high-tech materials makes it an indispensable tool when cleaning dust on the shelves and washing the floors. Let's, uh... There. Alright. Yes, that's why I was heading towards the sparking area, because I was thinking that maybe... Alkali supply. Ah. Grabber required, eh? Alright. Let's... Aw, we broke Grandpa's back scratcher. Ice supply? Okay. Neat. So, these things were completely sparking up and... Stuff like that, but they don't seem to have any wires in them. Hmm. Nothing for us there, I guess. Babe, are you not married? I am not yet, but very much to want. If we survive, we could go on date. Are you saving me? It's on the list. Just be patient. I have a lot to deal with right now, you know? It's a very tough time in my life. Give us some space and let this relationship grow a little bit more naturally, you know? Alright, now we have drill. 
I'm not sure what we can use that for, but we'll find something, I'm sure. Just randomly drilling holes in whatever bullshit we feel like is, uh... So, I picked up some alkali, but I don't see any new recipes that use it. Ex oh! Alcohol! We can make alcohol out of this stuff. Excellent al uh, alkali. Excellent electrolyte for handmade batteries. With proper skill, you can extract alkali from the debris almost without getting poisoned. But that's not what we need right now. We don't need alcohol. We need we need wires. Yes. If we could turn alcohol into wires. No, no. Stripping wires is usually more of a meth thing. So is there something over here? I'm thinking around these areas, around like the brakes, maybe. Or we could search in the containers. Ah, another pair of scissors, a bunch of rubber. More rubber, more scissors. Rubber and scissors, rubber and scissors. And I guess that was what this area was storing. That was about down. Toilet is detected. Some of our clients are very sensitive about toilet talk, and therefore we included a dictionary filter which will replace the word feces with the word joy. Ah. What a, what a joyous occasion. <laughs> yes, let's... Let's just stay away from uh, the festivities, shall we say. Interesting. Very good music so far on the playlist, yes. Alright, so... Pink. Interesting. And more importantly, a tape recorder. I bet that'll have some wire in it. Yes. Sure enough. Sure enough. But let's keep on checking out... Uh... Hello. That looks... Um... Judging by the degree of decomposition, this subject died long before the catastrophe. We have a murder here, Sherlock, and we just have to ignore it. Oh, wow. Bloodstained hammer? Judging by the broken handle, somebody's body was beaten very hard and very painfully with it. I wonder which part of the body it was exactly. Well, I'm just going to not get my fingerprints on that. I'm wearing gloves, but in this game, who knows? So scissors in his thigh, lamp in his chest, condom on his head, unequipped. It is unlikely that he suffocated from this. Being in a spacesuit, where oxygen is sufficient for an entire full breath. Wow. One full breath. He betrayed our marriage, pervert, cheater. He deserved it. On the back, waiting in the in tea cabin for the wife to leave. Your Sergi. Hmm. Well, I guess we found an alternate source for the condom, at least. If we didn't just pick one up in a random box. I don't know if these boxes are random or not, in fact. But I suppose you can never be overly safe. Oh dear. Well, it's good to know that we don't die immediately. We just, uh... Ah, it looks like I lost a little bit of health. Yes, yes, yes. Good, so... That's how, uh... That's just our very professional example of how the, uh... How the suffocation mechanic works. Yes, yes. In perfectly intended. This rubber takes up two slots per... Let's get rid of some of that and... I'm gonna compress down some of my water, I think. Let's make us some nutrient packages and some... Now this is... I hope I'm never going to need to craft like a hundred things all at once because this takes far too long. Mm. At least I have good music to go along with it. Babe, I receive a signal from Normandy. Do you get it too? I think it's some kind of trap. You mustn't fly there. Maybe these are survivors, luring other survivors and eat them. You just can't trust people these days, you know? They claim to be rescuers, but can you really be sure? She's right to misjudge them. But I know I can trust her, obviously, completely. 
You understand me, soundtrack. You're the only one who does. All right, all right, all right. Mm, da, 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 da. I did find a piece of wire, I suppose. But on the other hand, I kind of want this oxygen balloon. Yeah, we'll, we'll find another wire. We'll find another wire. I'm sure. But yeah, this thing. Oxygen balloon. Inflated, smooth, beautiful, reusable, universal cylinder. Reinforced with electrical tape. A miraculous engineering idea. Performed in warm condom tones. I see. Ah, now, see, that? I think that bought us, yeah, 25 more seconds of oxygen. Is that one second per... It looks like, yeah, that's about one second per tick. Okay, cool. So 25 more seconds of air. Realistically speaking, more like 12 and a half because, you know, accelerate halfway there, accelerate halfway back, you know, blah, blah, blah. But still, yes, yes, yes. So, hmm. 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 Novichok? Male potency tablets. I remember I ate a whole box of them when I was a kid because I thought they were sweets. It was the first time when I discovered some peculiarities of the body, such as uncontrollable vomiting and diarrhea at the same time. Astonishing. The Novichok drug is developed with the support of the Pension Association. The, compo the composition of this unique drug includes such rare ingredients as chalk, probably increasing sexual potency, coal, probably increasing something as well, water, sugar, and ascorbic acid. Recommended for persons who attain sexual maturity and are experiencing an unreasonable fear of intimacy, even with themselves. And it's marked as placebo. 50 milligrams of placebo, though. Wow. Nice little blue pill. Now with banana flavored. Oh, P. Oh, my. Goodness gracious. Well, with such lurid, alluring packaging, we clearly need to take this with us. Some child could stumble upon this. Yes, yes. Ooh. We need to just keep this in a nice safe place and, uh... An unknown yes. Suspicious name. Yes, suspicious. Light bulb? The evidence Hello. is collected. The investigation is successfully completed. It is obvious that the victim was poisoned by a Novichok chemical weapon for treason. This is confirmed by the Jeez. psycho note that the female agent lost at the scene of the crime. Some special agency clearly had a hand in this. Yes, clearly. Clearly, that's exactly what happened. Oh, right, I was after wires, but I found... A light bulb. Hmm. Light bulb. An ordinary low voltage incandescent lamp. Its unique shape and standardized size allows it to easily get stuck in the mouth or other places. Let's, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to find any other uses for this condom. Let's put that away. Let's put the alkali away. Let's put that away too. These scissors. And, uh, yeah, but let's just... Not for ourself, obviously. We would never need such a thing. <clears throat> it's, an, it's entirely to ensure that no one is disturbed by such... Such content. Yes. Wires. Where would I find wires? Think like a wire. If I were a wire, where would I be? Plastic. Neat. Hello. More plastic and a battery. Goodness gracious. So, was that one radio or tape recorder or whatever it was we found, was that the only electrical device to have any usable wiring in it in the entire damn scrapyard? That looks promising over there. Let's refill the tanks while we're in the area. Yes, yeah, just nice and cozy, full breath, feeling feeling good with a nice hundred seconds of oxygen on me. Hello. Yes, get in my belly. I'll just leave that there, I think. 
more and more of you. Yes, I'll take all of your friends. Good, good. Now, what's going on in... Oh, my. Seems they were playing some brain-cracking game. You don't say. Hmm. Extendo gamepad? A gamepad from the most popular console. We used to press these buttons for hours until our fingers hurt. Those were some good times for sure. Mm. Well, why not? They're not going to get any use out of it, obviously. Yes, poor guys. At least they died doing what they love. Mortal Wombat? Who hasn't made that that pun, I suppose? A legendary fighting game for the best console. The dream of all the guys on all the planets. Blood, guts, half-naked chicks with st and steel muscles of the wombat. Half-naked chicks with steel muscles is also pretty nice. <clears throat> and, and the steel muscles of the wombat is all... Is all what a guy needs when he's 15. Well, who ever really obeyed those ratings anyway? Mm. Stratega. Oh, Strata Games, I see. Not Strata Games or Strata Gamas. Well. Be careful. Games provoke a cruelty because, according to statistics, most criminals played them at least once. All criminals drink water, blinked, and used toilet paper, which makes it possible to draw an unequivocal conclusion about your criminal inclinations. <laughs> yes, that seems to be how everyone figures statistics works. <sighs> at least they were properly hard. Babe, when I try connect to this point, signal not pass. A very strange place, most likely deadly. You need to find out what's there. Interesting. So one of these notifications you sent me has uh, put up a new little marker on my HUD. But yes, yes, I actually have all the things I need now. I think, no, I need thick electrical tape again. Well, that's easy enough. All right. The most important craft of the game, obviously. I need to make myself some... Uh, crap imposed by the, by the developers literally yes yes oh actually some crap imposed by the developers now um, when i think the quest said put it in my hand yeah put it in my hand so oh i completed the entire unique upgrade system nine nine oh wow maximum level Oh, wow. The electrical stimulation is complete. <laughs> Having traced your brain's activity while you were working, your brain was stimulated with small electrical charges to improve your engineering skills. Judging by the result, it didn't work and caused a number of hallucinations. <laughs> However, it was entertaining. You still can't get past the radiation, but I will mark the coordinates of the rescuers for useless motivation. Thanks. It's beautiful. It's a big <laughs> scrap metal dick. Oh, what a beautiful, wonderful... Absolutely. Concussion. Huzzah! <laughs> okay, let's let's just put this in a nice safe place. Just just leave this yeah, right right there. Just yeah, nice and cozy and snug. Most valuable passenger in our ship. <laughs> oh concussion, you say. Oh, Sherlock. You can solve any case if you know for sure who you want to blame. The suit will consider you to be very smart. Just kidding. It won't. Concussion! If you're holding something in your hands, then you can hit yourself with it. Try it! It's fun! Plus two to charisma. Every elf merchant in the game will be loyal to you, and a psychiatrist will shake your hand even harder than before. <laughs> All right, so I was getting a notification that rest was not necessary. Is is rest something that I can? Can I just sleep this concussion off, please? Yes, that looks that looks like a thing that's happening, and I'm actually getting a very reasonable exchange of eat and drink to health. That's quite lovely. Mm. Oh, look at the cuddly chicken.
Yes, quite. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, I only have one handy scrapper in my inventory. I want another one. Da, 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 da. Equipment, tools, scrapper. And uh, let's see what this all about is. So I picked up a piece of honey. A sticky, sweet, yellow substance that resembles honey and satisfies hunger well. It's a favorite delicacy of cockroaches, which massively perish in this sticky stuff at production plants. Defrosting required. And sweet package. A packet of melted honey. When eaten, it won't smear your hands, feet, or the environment. Won't do it at all. So that dehydrates me a little, but gives 40... Yeah, it gives more... Okay, why not? Even though drink is clearly the one that is more important. Let's just... Um... Alright. Well, you know what? Uh, let, let's put away... Let's put away the increasing garbage pile in our pocket. You know what? That seems like a fairly good place to stop for the day. We've got a nice little... We've got a few more breaths of air in our lungs. We've built the crap imposed by the developers. First couple of quests just out of the way. This seems like a good place to call it a day. So yeah, this is Breath Edge, and it's an experience. And it's one that I very hardly recommend.